Have you ever wondered how filmmakers get the perfect sun flare? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Most videographers and even big film companies add in sun flares in post production. Now, you may not always notice them, but when done right, they can add real cinematic qualities to your video. So let's jump straight into Premiere Pro. So here I have my clip from a wedding that we shot. So I'm gonna drag that into the timeline and just play it for you. So it's best to choose a clip with natural lighting and some obstacles that could cause a sun flare. This is gonna make your flare look a lot more natural. In this case, we have a building blocking part of the sun, meaning there could be a natural sun flare. Okay. Now we need to import the sun flare. I downloaded these overlays as part of a pack which you can find in the description below. But if you search on Google for flare overlays, you'll find a ton of stock footage that you can use. Which flare you choose is up to you and it does depend on what shot you have. But I'm going to choose this one because it's one of my favourites. So now I want to choose an in and out point for the flare and it's important to start where the flare is just beginning so it looks a lot more natural with your shot. So I've got my in and out points and I'm going to drag that over to the timeline above my clip. Now stretch that out to make it the size of your clip. Now don't be alarmed, I know we can't see the clip at the moment, but that's fine. All we need to do is change the opacity blend mode to screen. This will take out all of the black in the clip and leave just the flare. Now as you can see the flare lines up perfectly and looks quite natural. If your flare doesn't line up you can always adjust the scale, position or even flip it to fit the shot. But I do want to make this look a little bit more natural so I'm going to keyframe the opacity at the start of the clip and at the end of the clip just to bring it in gradually and then bring it out gradually. You can also use keyframing to create a fake flicker if for instance there is anything in the shot that could cause flickering from a flare but in this case the flare is already flickering so I don't need to add one. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick colour grade, which you can find out about here. And this is just to match the colours of the flare to the colours of the clip. So I have one final playback just to make sure everything looks good, and then you're done. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so for our weekly videos.